all right ladies and gentlemen in today's video i'm going to give you guys the best finals settings that you guys can have on and off so to start off let's go ahead and open up our settings we're going to start in the gameplay tab the first setting here is really important this is something that was added in season two and it's called use enemy team colors basically if you have this off everybody's mesh shields dome shields gadgets etc will all appear as red but if you use enemy team colors it'll actually appear as the color corresponding to that team so if it's pink team their mesh shield will be pink etc and this is really useful for spotting the different teams that are out there that you're shooting at and just seeing like what team you're fighting next up hide player names i have this off if you want this on you could turn it on text chat I have text chat on. You should definitely have this on, especially if you're solo queuing. This is going to help you communicate. Preferred region, just set this to either automatic or whichever region that you are playing in. Crossplay, I have turned on. You could turn crossplay off if you would like to, especially if you're on console, you don't want to play mouse and keyboard players. But personally, I have this on as if you turn crossplay off, your queue times will probably be a little bit longer. Auto sprint is something that I personally keep off as I'm just used to holding down shift to sprint. But if auto sprint helps you, then I recommend turning it on. Melee aim assist, make sure that this is turned on as a lot of people don't realize this, but there's actually aim assist for melee, even on PC. So when you melee, the game will automatically snap to the nearest target. So make sure that you guys have aim assist for melee turned on. For the crosshair settings, honestly, I have this set to mostly default. I think I changed a few of these, but I'll just keep this here and you guys can pause the screen if you would like to copy my crosser. As for this, go ahead and just put this on no contracts. We don't care about that. For controller settings, I don't personally use controller, so all of these settings are going to be defaulted, but I'll try to find a good controller settings video that I'll link in the description for you guys. Moving on to mouse and keyboard though, for my sensitivity, I'm at 800 DPI with 35 in-game and I have my ADS both at 100%. So this is totally default right here. Mouse focal length sensitivity scaling. This is something that I have on. If you go ahead and turn this off, what it will do is it will make your ADS sensitivity and your hip fire sensitivity one-to-one. -one. So if you change your hip fire sense, it will be the same as your ADS sense. Personally, my hip fire sense is just too fast for me to be used to tracking with this off. So I keep it on that way. My ADS sense is slower, but this is something that you guys can mess around with in the firing range and see if you like it. Mouse invert vertical look input. Definitely have this off. I don't know why you would have that on for keybinds. Again, you guys can go ahead and pause at any point and see exactly what I'm running. But most of these keybinds are actually going to be default. If I was going to change any of these, it would probably be melee to mouse button. But other than that, all of these are default. One thing I will note, though, is you can see I don't have aim down sights, hold, even binded. And the reason is because I use toggle aim, which is essentially you click the button one time and it stays ADS, like even if you stop touching the mouse. So personally, I like toggle aim. I've been using it for a lot of years. It's pretty comfortable for me, but it's very difficult to get used to. So if you try it out and you don't like it, you can just stay on hold. Doesn't matter that much, really just personal preference. Moving on though, again, all of these are pretty much default. So there's not much to look at here, but go ahead and pause if you guys would like to read any of that. As for the accessibility settings, I have the colorblind mode set to default as I'm not colorblind. Go ahead and mess with this if you are. Subtitles, I have off. I would have this on when I played Siege, but in this game, the subtitles don't give you any sort of actual useful tips. In Siege, you could get subtitles for the other team's operators talking, and that could give you some info, but in this game, it doesn't actually do anything, so I keep it off. Motion blur, definitely make sure you guys have motion blur off. This is going to make your game look horrible, so make sure this is disabled. Controller keybinds, uh, again, I don't, I don't use a controller, so nothing to talk about there. And these, for whatever reason, is the same crosser settings again, but I guess pause that if you want to look at it again. Master volume, I normally have this on like between 8 and 10. For some reason, this game is like really loud. I don't know what it is, but this game is super loud, so I have to have the audio turned down. 
I do have my Windows volume maxed out though. Music volume, uh, it's at 15%. Honestly, you could just turn this off. Music does not really matter. Uh, for the rest of these, I do have them maxed out. The commentator volume is something you could turn off if you really don't like the AI announcers and you want the game to, you want the actual game sounds to be louder and maybe you could focus a little bit more because of that. You could go ahead and turn the commentator volume off and that will disable those voices. Uh, voice chat, I'm not sure why it says it's off because it should be on. Um, I just have this, my push talks at the Z, not really much to talk about here. As for the output, if you're using headphones, make sure this is set to stereo slash headphones. Other than that, not much to look at. Night mode is something that I'm actually experimenting with. This is something I, that I used in Siege because it would make explosions and gun, gunshots a little bit quieter while making footsteps louder. I haven't really determined if I like this on or off, but you guys can play with this. I've been keeping it off for most of my games. Mute game when minimized, this is something I keep on. That way if I tab out of the game, I'm not hearing the game. Subtitles, again, off. There's a lot of duplicate settings in, in this game. I'm not sure why. Moving on to video, I'm on windowed full screen only because I stream. So it's nice to be able to move my cursor between my monitors and tab out. Otherwise, I'd recommend that you guys keep this on full screen. My resolution is 2560 by 1440. Just make sure this is set to whichever your monitor's base resolution is. NVIDIA DLSS frame generation. This is a setting that you guys might not see, but essentially I could not tell you what exactly it does, but when I turn it on, it basically doubles my FPS. I go from like 160 to like well over 300, like 350 to 400 sometimes. So. Turning this on if you can is good, but you will have to keep in mind you have to have a 40 series graphics card. So if you do not, if you do not have a 40 series graphics card, you will not be able to turn the setting on. So just keep that in mind. Resolution scaling method, I have this sent to Intel XESS, and I have this set to performance just so I can get the most FPS. My field of view is set to 100. This is personal preference though, so you could turn this down if you'd like to, but personally, I like mine on 100. Motion blur, again, another duplicate setting. Make sure this is turned off. Make sure it's turned off everywhere. You really don't want motion blur on. Lens distortion, same thing. Make sure this is disabled. It's just going to make your game a little bit more cluttered, pretty difficult to see targets. So make sure that's off. Global illumination, I have this set to static. I believe this is literally just ray tracing. If you turn this up, what it can do for you is if you're, say, on a roof with a hole in the floor looking into a room, there could be a lot of smoke and like debris that's making it difficult to see into the room. The higher you turn this up, the quicker that smoke and everything will dissipate, but it does eat up a ton of performance. So honestly, I keep it on static just to prioritize FPS. As for the overall quality settings, I have my view distance set to high just so I can see as far as I can. And the rest of this is actually going to be set to low or off. You want this as low as it can go. Energy saving. This is only important if you guys are playing on a laptop. I have it enabled, but honestly, I don't play on a laptop. So maybe these should be, be disabled. You'll have to mess with that. Uh, but that is it for the settings in the finals. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, comment down below your guys' sensitivities or your guys' settings. If there's something that you guys think should be on or off. Feel free to let us know down in the comments. We'll talk about it and enjoy the rest of the video. And I feel like too many games are like trying to cater to casual players who like are not good. And um, it's really annoying for like competitive players. Cause like as a competitive player, me and, and in this game specifically, this game mines do not make sense, and I'll explain why. The movement is too fast paced. The game is too chaotic. The game mode itself is too chaotic. You're not breaching and clearing doors like you are in Siege. Traps in Siege, sure. Put traps in Siege all day long. You're supposed to be going slow and clearing angles, clearing shit, sure. In this game, it's too fast paced, man.
And sometimes I'm forced to push with no time left. And I have to just walk into nine mines. Why can one player bring nine mines? It doesn't make sense. But that's not fun. That's not fun for anybody. It's really not. And because this game is 3v3, and with the light class being so weak in one-on-one -on -one fights, or, uh, or pretty much any fights, like, see, I, I get hit by an RPG once on 20 health. So, like, with how, with how weak some of the classes are, specifically light, it can feel, like, impossible to play with and against some of these abilities. I hit one mine on the light class, and I'm basically dead. Especially with how long it takes to regen HP, there's a good chance I am dead. You know what I'm saying? So in my opinion, mines have no place in the finals. It does not make sense. It's too fast paced of a game. You, in the finals, if you're sitting in a corner, for the most part, I'm not gonna say for every situation, for the most part, if you're just sitting in a corner somewhere, not moving, not really doing much, you're dead. You lost. And I'm talking about, when, when I talk about the game, by the way, I'm talking about it from the highest level. So like competitively speaking, right? I'm not talking about like the guy who loads up the game once a week. I'm talking about like actual competitive players at the com most competitiveness of the game. I just don't feel like mines or turrets really have a place in this game. I don't think it's really fun. Like, look at that. I just shot once on this class and I have 50 health. Now, imagine they had a, a, a deployable turret there. I would be dead. I would have went out of invis, took 30 damage from the turret within, you know, two seconds and then died. So, yeah, I don't think those, those gadgets are... I don't think they have a place in the finals. I don't like the turrets... Um, I think it it reinforces too much of like a static gameplay too much too much sitting around hiding in corners um, I think you're a fucking real one. I th I Think um, the heavy like you, you can maneuver enough while also having like great support Where it's like a perfect mix. You don't need to be like crouched in a corner somewhere. No, not like this I'm one health. It's that special time of the match. I hope everyone is ready for a new event. Okay. The boat swooped up a cash box. There's a turret. There, 30 damage from the turret instantly. As soon as I come out of invis, 30 damage done from the turret. Any competent player will insta kill you after that happens. I know you're not 15 and 0. Oh, you know it. And you better be watching the video that comes out tomorrow. <laughs> I, just, I know who you are, and you're just like telling him to watch the video. <laughs> watch my fucking video, dude. Only the one today. He knows who I am now, the king of the finals. My oh my god. They don't call me the king for nothing. Holy shit. Going. Dude, there's not a realm you can travel to that'll get 
you away from me. Not even a <laughs> nether portal could take you away from me. Not even it. Have you met me ever? Chat. Have you met me ever? Stop leaving the game! Well, that's just not fun, man. I mean... The jet set has picked up a cash box. Oh, he's got that shotgun. I'm stuck. Woo! How do you get away with that? I think they just rezzed. No, I wanted to use my gateway again. Fuck. Nope. Nope. Not like this. I'm stuck again. I'm gonna die because of this. I can't move. I can't move. I can't move. No. No. No! I was doing so good. We need to let them steal this. I was like, I hear this guy. Where is he? Oh, the light is so good. This XP-54, low-key, top two weapons in the game. This is insane. Oh my gosh. No, I get RPG'd because I, I, I took one damage before, so I insta-die. When you get stunned, the recoil on the F-car is insane. With one second left on my coin. Where they at, Dapper? You got a lock on their location? Probably in the building. Come with me. I got a shortcut. Oh, oh you're right. Oh. He's queuing on us, he's queuing on us! Good job. If we let Pink get this and it goes the next eight minutes, then I'll definitely get 50 here. Have you ever met me in your life? Me and doing this damage from this far away. Where is that He's dead. Oh, that guy with the shotgun. Well, the medium had a shotgun too, so. And I died to a mine! This is why I said no mines! I'm not actually mad, by the way, for the mouth breathers in the comments. It's just like, god damn, dude. Like, the mouth breathers. The mines are just insane. Why why can one mine do 139 damage, bro? It's insane. What happened to the AC? Why is it so hot in the I don't know. The jet is back. Back. The retros liberated another team's cash out. He's one. Nice. Dab if I see you drop another fucking boat in the chat, bro. Yeah, I 
Oh, I'm just messing with you. I'm unstoppable right here. I'm literally the Doom Slayer. I'm literally John Wick. Literally. There's a light rushing you, by the way. Oh, uh, there was. They both turned to look at me, I guess. The light's 1 HP. He's on the doors into the building. Yep. Where, where, where did this go? Oh, Woo! That was such a good game right there. I slowed down at the end because I started dying, but damn, that was a good game. And it demonstrated why I hate mines.